Hello everyone. This is our seventh lecture of uh, first order ordinary differential equation, and today's topic is integrating factor rule number five. Okay. So first of all, let me write the rule. Okay. Suppose, suppose we have uh, if if the equation m dx plus n dy equals to 0 is of the form is of the form x to the power a y to the power b into m y dx plus n x dy plus x to the power a dash y to the power b dash m dash y dx plus n dash x dy equals to 0 okay suppose you have an ordinary differential equation first order of the form m dx plus n dy equals to 0 and if this equation is in this form x to the power a y to the power b in this form okay where these numbers a b a dash b dash m m dash n n dash all these numbers are constant numbers okay so where where a a dash b b dash m m dash n n dash all are constants okay so you have an equation m dx plus n dy equals to zero and you have to convert the equation in this form okay then you will get the values of these constants a b a dash b dash etc okay then then x to the power h y to the power k is an integrating factor of the equation of the equation now question is what is h and what is k so where where this h and k will satisfy two equations okay where first equation is a plus h plus 1 divided by m this is equals to b plus k plus 1 divided by n okay this is the first equation also it will satisfy another equation a dash plus h plus 1 divided by m dash this is equals to b dash plus k plus 1 divided by n dash okay so solving these two equations you will get the values of h and k okay then x to the power h y to the power k x to the power h into y to the power k that will be your integrating factor okay so first process is first of all you are given an equation m dx plus n dy equals to zero you have to convert this given equation in this form x to the power a y to the power b and so on in this form and you will get the values of a a dash b b dash m n dash n n dash okay then x to the power h y to the power k that will be your integrating factor and you will get the values of h and k after solving these two equations okay let's understand using an example first question solve solve 3y dx minus 2x dy plus x square y to the power minus 1 10 y dx minus 6 x dy this is equals to 0 okay this is your given equation and you have to solve this one okay so first of all let's compare this equation with the general form the solution so comparing the given equation given equation with x to the power a into y to the power b m y dx 
प्लस एन एक्स डी वाई ओके प्लस एक्स टू दि पावर ए डैश वाई टू दि पावर बी डैश एम डैश वाई डी एक्स प्लस एन डैश एक्स डी वाई बोथ पार्ट्स आर सेम जस्ट हेयर यू हैव ए एंड बी हेयर यू हैव ए डैश बी डैश हेयर यू हैव एम एंड एन एंड हेयर यू हैव एम डैश एन डैश ऑल अदर टर्म्स आर सेम ओके ना इफ आई कम्पेयर दिस टू इक्वेशन्स देन टेल मी व्हाट इज द वैल्यूज ऑफ द कॉन्स्टेंट्स सो ऑब्वियसली ए इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो बी इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो एम इज इक्वल्स टू हेयर यू हैव थ्री वाई डी एक्स ना सो एम इज इक्वल्स टू थ्री and n is equals to zero because you have no term in in the form of uh, n dy sorry you have minus 2x dy that means n is equals to minus 2 okay n is equals to minus 2 now what is a dash a dash equals to x to the power a dash now here you have x square so a dash equals to 2 and b dash equals to minus 1 okay and what is m dash m dash equals to 10 and n dash equals to minus 6 clear so a is equals to 0 b equals to 0 m equals to 3 n equals to minus 2 a dash equals to 2 b dash equals to minus 1 m dash equals to 10 and n dash equals to 6 okay now you have to find out the values of h and k okay so <clears throat> first equation is uh, a plus h you can write That let x to the power h, y to the power k, be an integrating factor. Okay. Now you can write the equations. So then, then a plus h plus one divided by m. This is equals to b plus k plus one divided by n. Just put the values. A is equals to zero. Plus h plus one divided by what is the value of m? Three divided by three. This is equals to value of b is zero. So zero plus k plus one divided by value of n is minus two. And if you solve this equation, so minus two h minus two. This is equals to three k plus three. Okay. So you are getting. 2h minus 3k, okay, okay. Let's take the minus common. So 2h plus 2. This is equals to minus 3k minus 3. So you are getting 2h plus 3k, and this minus plus. So this is equals to minus 5. Okay. Let's say this is equation number one. Okay. Similarly, you have the second equation, a dash plus h plus one divided by m dash. This is equals to b dash plus k plus one divided by n dash. Okay. Just put the values. A dash equals to two plus h plus one divided by m dash means ten. This is equals to b dash equals to minus one plus k. Plus one divided by n dash equals to minus six. So you are getting h plus three divided by ten. This is equals to k by minus six. Okay. If you simplify it, so minus six h plus eighteen. This is equals to ten k or minus six h. Minus 10k. This is equals to minus 18. Minus 2 common. So this will be 3h plus 5k. This is equals to 9. Okay. And this is your equation number one. Now you have to solve equation one and two. So solving one and two. Okay, if you solve this equation, you will get the values of h and k. H is equals to two, and k is equals to minus three. You can you can use any method to solve this equation. I I think you know how to solve this type of equation. So h is equals to two, and k is equals to minus three. So what will be the integrating factor? 
आई एफ इक्वल्स टू फर्मुल इज एक्स टू दि पावर एच वाई टू दि पावर के दैट मीस यू आर गेटिंग एक्स स्कोर वाई टू दि पावर माइनस थ्री ओके एंड द रिमेनिंग पार्ट इज सेम नाउ यू हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस इंटीग्रेटिंग फैक्टर उथ द गिवेन इक्वेशन देन यू हैव टू यूज द सल्यूशन फर्मूला ऑफ एक्सैक्ट इक्वेशन ओके सो नेक्स्ट मल्टीप्लाइंग multiplying so um, the first part was 3y dx yes or no 3y dx so 3y okay first of all let me write the equation 3y dx minus 2x dy plus x square y to the power minus 1 10y dx minus 6x dy this is equals to 0 and you have to multiply into x square x square y to the power minus 3 x square y to the power minus 3 so or 3 x square y to the power minus 2 dx minus 2 x cube y to the power minus 3 dy plus 10 x square y inverse and y that will be 1 so 10 x square dx minus 6 x cube y to the power Achha, sorry 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 so plus this is 10 y and you can write Achha, first of all let's write x square y inverse and x square y to the power minus 3 so this will be x to the power 4 y to the power minus 4 10 y dx minus 6 x dy this is equals to 0 or 3 x square y to the power minus 2 dx minus 2 x cube y to the power minus 3 dy plus 10 x to the power 4 y to the power minus 3 dx minus 6 x to the power 5 y to the power minus 4 dy this is equals to 0 now let's take together the dx part so this is 3 x square y to the power minus 2 plus 10 x to the power 4 y to the power minus 3 dx and if I take minus common so minus 2x cube y to the power minus 3 plus 6x to the power 5 y to the power minus 4 dy this is equals to 0 so obviously this equation will be exact equation because we have multiplied the integrating factor so the solution is the solution is integration m dx so 3 x square y to the power minus 2 plus 10 x to the power 4 y to the power minus 3 dx integration m dx plus integration terms of n free from x this term is not free from x this term is not free from x so this will be 0 dy okay and this is equals to integrating constant c let's integrate first part is integration with respect to x so this will be x cube by 3 and 3 3 cancelled so this will be x cube y to the power minus 2 and this will be x to the power 5 by 5 10 and 5 will be cancelled so this will be 2 x to the power 5 y to the power minus 3 this is equals to arbitrary constant c which is the required solution okay so i am repeating the method this is the first step m dx plus n dy equals to zero this will be given you have to convert the equation into the general form okay then using these two equations you have to find out the values of h and k 
okay then x to the power h y to the power k that will be your integrating factor clear i am giving you uh, an example or an exercise problem try to solve this problem question is x square y d uh, x square y minus 2x y square dx plus 3x square y minus x cube dy this is equals to 0 this is the problem you have to solve this equation <coughs> actually you can solve this equation in uh, using rule number three also because here this part this is uh, of the form m dx plus n dy equals to zero this is of the form sorry this is a homogeneous function and n is homogeneous function and degree of both m and n is three so obviously you can use the homogeneous condition that means rule number three okay but try to solve this question using rule number five Okay, if you have any doubt, then you can ask me on my WhatsApp number. Thank you so much.